I'm Abel Zill. I'm the owner and founder of Zill Vardos. Today I'm on my farm in Olympia, Washington, which is where I also build tiny houses. My workshop's right over there. Behind me is my very first tiny house. I built this eight years ago. It's cobbled together out of found materials, dumpster dive materials, objects my friends gave me, and the remains of a boat building project. I'd love to show you around the inside. So without further ado, let's go. Hi, welcome to the kitchen. Every object in this house has a story of some sort. It's come from somewhere or some time in my life. I can tell you about a few of them. This cutting board that I have my hand on is a slice of a beam from an old steel manufacturer in Seattle, Washington. This huge warehouse that was torn down probably about a decade and a half ago. This range is an RV cooktop. Um, I bought it at a garage sale. I created my own handle for it because the handle was broken, uh, but it was $10. The price was right. Uh, these windows are pretty old, probably made in the 30s or 40s. Um, I pulled them out of a dumpster on Olympia's west side and scraped them and refinished them. The sink was also a uh, free pile find. Um, sitting on the side of the road. Um, this and my wife's bicycle were in the same same pile, so I got those together. Um, the wood that this shelf and um, the sides of these cabinets and these shelves are made out of is a uh, Alaskan yellow cedar that blew down again on the west side of Olympia. It went to uh, Windfall Lumber, which was owned by my friend Scott Royer and he milled it and put it in a stack and I came along one day um, and saw it and I couldn't resist so I bought the whole stack, the whole tree. It was a chunk of a tree actually. The lamps came from the local building salvage. I would, whenever I see a pair of these that I like, I would pick them up for, you know, a couple bucks a piece or five bucks or whatever. Ah, the plywood on the wall. This is a marine grade plywood uh, that was part of a boat building project that I was working on in my senior year of college at Evergreen State College. I began the boat, I designed a boat, began the project, got it partially built, and then I graduated and had no good way to finish it. So I uh, took it back apart and used some of the pieces in this house. Um, so it was kind of a poetic repurposing of something that I probably would never would have completed at that time in my life. This is the table. It's uh, made of reclaimed marine plywood that uh, it's actually the offcuts of round windows that I make, but I take the pieces, fasten them together, and coat it with epoxy for durability. It also has a strut underneath that you can push to the side so it folds down. I'm not going to do that right now. Right here is one of my ladders. It unhooks so you can move it around on the front of the loft. It simply hooks to the wood. Uh, has oak hooks. Uh, they're very durable. They've held up all these years and really comfortable cedar steps. Hi, this is the bed. It is a loft, but I chose to keep it quite low because there's only a bathtub underneath and uh, it makes it easier to get up there's a bookshelf at one end and plenty of room for two people to sleep. This is the first Zill moon window I ever created. You can open it up so you can have a little bit of air. This is the armoire. It was given to me by a friend who tried refinishing it and failed. So, so I picked up where she left off. Um, I installed shelves inside of it so I could put folded clothes um, and other objects in. And it has drawers down below. Lowest drawer, 
I made a cutout so it clears the fender of the trailer. So by now, I bet you're wondering, where's the toilet? I chose to make toilet and utilities accessible on the outside of the house to save space on the inside. Right here is a clothes washer. Hot water heater, electrical, propane. Hey. Gotcha. Hey folks, I'm gonna give it to you straight. My tiny house is pretty cozy to be in. Thanks for joining me. If you wanna see more pictures of what I'm building, they're up on my website. It's www.zilvardos.com. I also put pictures of what I'm working on up on my Instagram, that's at Zilvardos, and on my Facebook page, Zilvardos. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you again soon.